today. I'm going to do a video about people smelling. Let's count how many people are smelling walking by. Starting to like videotape a lot of a lot of interesting things, so yeah. I just uncounted sixteen people past me. Nobody smiling. So I, I wonder what like what's what's going on. Everybody depressed or what do no, you think? No, no, no. It's you. See, when they see a black man, that's all they see. There ain't nothing good about a black man in their mind. Okay, Mister Hustler. I saw ten black people walk by. They wasn't even smiling. I didn't see. Okay. Say, what you exuberant. Now, if I sit here, yes. an OG with no hatchet mark or none of that, like I've been in jail all my teeth, good natural teeth. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? They, they disarm. <laughs> they disarm. But when they see a brother your age and everything, you done stole the shoes and you trying to hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you like man. I've been dealing with human beings. How old do you people? think I am? I'm gonna say 70 only out of respect. Well, you want your head, but I'll be 70 again. Anyway. All right, but I'm gonna tell you one thing. Listen to me. 23. Listen to me. We're in a unique time right now. Yes. See, one of the things, Donald Trump, I don't hate Donald Trump. Donald Trump was created by Jesus Christ, too. All right? But one thing. Mm. Because of this capitalist yeah, yeah, yeah. society out here, yes. where everything is based on God, they don't want to give poor people, hungry people, disadvantaged people a chance to make a dollar. They want to treat you like a dog, work you to death, and then when you can't do no more, you get wild, they kick you to the curb. You see my hat? Let's look at his hat. Let's look at his hat. Let's see your hat. Look at my hat. Hold on. All right. Live from Brooklyn. Live from Brooklyn. U.S. Marine Corps. Retired. That man's retired. See, young people, if you live long enough, you could get a chance to retire. Now, let me tell you something, young people. Listen to me carefully. I take my hat off when I say that. Jesus Christ is real. I'm a combat veteran, all right, for the United States of America. I, I, I still retired from transit after 26 years. All right? I get free shoes. I get free medicine. I don't give a damn. I shouldn't say I don't give a damn. I don't care about the, the uh, uh, medical system here. I get everything free. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Show us something. Young people. I'm going to show you something else. Hold up now. This is no exaggeration. At least you read the people, guys, and nobody smell. Now, see this? This is that I can ride somewhere or any railroad in America free. Because that's what it says, pitching it. Now, I'm going to show you something else. That normal people don't have. You see that? That's that PBA. PBA. Patrol and Belivering Association. I'm going to show you something else. See? These are what they call currency cards. Courtesy. Courtesy cup. Y'all know about courtesy. It says Captain New York City Police Department. Now I'm going to show you something else. Wow. You don't see it. I could go on any ship 
any federal property in America, the world, because of this right here. All right. I, I want. I want to ask you. Yeah, check this out. One more. One more good one. Okay. One more good one. Okay. If you see my name, <laughs> all right. But yeah. now under my name, what does it say, commentator? What does it say under my name? Under your name, I, I can't see right now. Service. What does it say under my Service name? Like ten. Purple Heart, you a Purple Heart recipient? Yeah, you hear what he said? Purple Heart! That's the man right there. Thank you for your service, sir. Thank you, man. Okay. I want to ask the gentleman one more question before yeah, we go. Yeah, yeah. What do you think has happened to our young youth where there's no control in the household, there's oh, no the control the school? School, too. Let me tell you one thing. I'm glad you brought that up. Listen okay. to me carefully, audience, young people. Listen to me carefully. There are over 1,000 people under the age of 12 years old who are African American kids who are banned from the New York City public schools. Wow. They can't go. Wow. They can't go to school. They can't go to school. They banned because of their record and their behavior. Banned. Now, listen to me, young people. When you ban from the public school system, who's on our subject? You can't go to college. Mm. You can't get a job. So all you can do. See, a lot of people, they, they keep hiding stuff from our black people. And our black politicians and teachers, they're nothing but freeloaders. <laughs> 90 percent of because of the check they've been bought off with hush money. I know. I was one of the first black superintendents in the New York City Transit Authority who did not cater to the, the white pressure because I knew what I was doing. I was born with 160 IQ tested by white people back in 1965. You see, I graduated high school in 1966, and they have our 51st reunion in August in Salem, Virginia. But now, hear me out. Can you, can you repeat that? They having your... Um, they having my 51st reunion in Salem, Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. They having my 51st reunion in Salem, Virginia. Ain't that many now because of death. But what I'm saying, they having it in Salem, Virginia, in uh, July 28, 29, and 30th this year. As a serviceman, if you had a cell phone in your hand back in the days, do you think you would have been distracted? Yes. Let me tell you something. The first man that smelled in Brooklyn, <laughs> say hi to the people. The first 100, 110 people, the you, first man that smelled. You're from India, Bangladesh. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm from Pakistan. That's a, oh, shit, you smile like a This man from smile. Yeah. It's a shame, fellas. Yeah, what I'm saying is this now. Uh, when I went to school, you gotta hear this. I'm a special too. I passed five high schools in the county, because all the blacks went to one segregated school in the county of Warner County, Virginia. I passed five white schools. I rode 12 miles on the school bus every day. Go to the high school. And some people can't walk two blocks. You understand? I played sports. We won the state championship in football and basketball wow. my last two years. All right? But let me tell you something. My mother and father could not talk or hear. I was raised in the South by my grandparents. That's deep, that's you understand deep. what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you something. I could sit here and tell you a whole lot of stories. Me surviving Vietnam. As an 0311 Marines know that the as a combat veteran, that's, that's, that's a rifle. But let me tell you one thing, man. Of all the things I can tell you about crime, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Okay. Jesus Christ, you don't have to believe in him. Just worship him. And ask, take a chance. Just take a chance. Pray for him. And ask him for what you want. I don't care if it's hit the lottery. Ask Jesus, because he will make the determination. Your, 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 your history... And your life is already figured out before you're born. You understand what I'm saying? So what you got to lose? I'm telling you what I know. I got so many bodies around me. Wow. It is pathetic. You understand? I mean, these come from uh, uh, middle income, people with homes and cars and good jobs. It don't matter. See? The devil walks in all walk. You got to understand that. All right? All this drugs out here and all this killing. You know, 500 brothers get killed in America every week across this country. 500! 500. You had them all in the city, the ocean to ocean. 500 brothers. But they ain't going to tell you about it. Because they don't want to tell you. It's 10 times 
Oh, and when the clan was in his prime, kid. Wow. All they got to do is back when I, when I ran Linda's shop on Rockaway Avenue and Linda Boulevard. I ran that whole TA complex at one time back in 84. They, they brought an 18 wheeler load of 9 millimeters and guns and left it unlocked out there in Brownsville. Ooh. And a wow. bookstore in Brownsville. You can't find a bookstore in Brownsville. They, wow. released, they released 60 hard nosed uh, convicts every month. They go back to Brownsville. This man is them. sweating. You know why he's sweating, audience? Because he's telling the truth. You his, understand? His emotions is getting kicked up right now. Yeah, my We need more is. brothers like this. Yeah. But you what understand? we have is distraction. Yeah. Now you got all these brothers going around the hood. Dumb. Talking about their band, talking about jail talk. He a brother like me, we can't get a word in. And they talk about what's up state is fixing, what's up state is clear. And Dana Mora. <laughs> you know, I listen to this bullshit. They can't even go down and the guy won't even give him a paper now to fill out an application. They say, well, here's the here's uh, uh, internet uh, uh, work site. Work site. Uh, uh, let us know. And if they do walk in, they call security because the way they dress with the pants down, showing the drawers and all this <laughs> bullshit. Uh, that comes from homosexuality. Now, don't get me wrong. I got nothing against homosexuals because you don't know who's who anyway. Yeah. So why, why try to tag somebody? Uh, but these guys walk around showing their drawers, got babies all over that the state and the city taking care of. They here got driving a Cadillac last week in the Three kids that he going with mama, the baby's mama, in cornflakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wow. With water. So, no so milk. milk. I want to know for the um the listeners. So you're telling me that these young men, that these young, I'm going to call them young men, but they're not really becoming men. No, they can't become men because one thing, remember that, their daddies were killed and incarcerated before they were born in some cases. They, they don't know nothing about it. Why you think they see them little hair with the bob them? Yes. See, that's, I, I had to look and make sure they're a woman. You got me cat calling <laughs> dudes out here so bad. Wow. You understand? I know you got the guys with ponytail, yes. but they don't know any better because there's never been a man in the house. Do y'all hear this? This is real. This is real from the street. Now, this is from Brooklyn, baby. This is from Brooklyn. Brooklyn, baby. They like New York, who they named it twice. It was so nice. This is from B-Town. Brooklyn in the house, motherfucker. I like that. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm a man. Ain't nobody gonna get me in this thing. But now, here's the thing. Yes, Sometimes sir. I walk in camouflage in case you want to do something stupid. Yeah. I'm not. Listen to me, my brothers. Do not lose your freedom over your woman. Teach her how to act in public around other guys. She gonna get cat called if your mama, when she don't respond, they gonna say, bitch, who you think you are? Wow. Teach her to walk. Another thing, when you go at war with another brother over your boo, over your boo, if you retaliate, remember, you gonna either get killed or go to jail for killing somebody, and the thing of it is, both of y'all gonna be another side and she gonna have another man to pay the bill to put them conflicts on the table. Did, did y'all just hear that? Cause even if you act fool and you're a gangster and you kill, and you kill your girl, or you kill or how you feel that day. Once you get in Rackers Island, once you get in any jail system, there's always somebody bigger and better than you. So it's time to stop the nonsense. Last last question before you go, sir. Yeah. Um, in your day. What do you think the average grandmother age was? Because now a grandmother could be 35 years old. Every grandmother was in her early 60s. You heard that, fellas? Y'all heard that, ladies and gentlemen? At the right age. Do you hear that, young people? She's in her early 60s. That's why they call her grandma. Grandma got respect from the neighborhood. That's not wow. only your house, but if you did something wrong in the neighborhood, and she hear about it. <laughs> they caught you in the mix. Grandmas observed the neighborhood, okay? Yes. See, see, there were no drug dealers. There were no drug dealers. I didn't know what marijuana was until I came to New York. Yes. Okay? There was no such thing, Virginia. Virginia. All right? But I'm going to tell you something. We worked. Our grandparents are still in us. Look, son, work. I went to a white man one time. I said, look, sir, I work for you 30 days for free. If you don't like me, you don't have to pay me. You don't have nothing. Wow. 
I worked there two dollars a day for a couple of years, and uh, he still no smells, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Back, but see, see, one thing you have to learn, you got to learn number one, Jesus is real. On, Another on, thing, on. till you can do better, you show up on time, you don't steal, you 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 you, you, you keep your obligation till you can do better. And remember one thing: whiteies have always laid trap for us to see our character. If you are twenty. Nine and a half years old, and you ain't got no scars or night marks or hatchet marks on your face. You already done passed your resume. <laughs> That's very That's deep. That's deep. Okay? You already passed your resume. And another thing is, everything you do yes. in this universe to God's rule, everything you do comes back. If you do something negative because the fine man dropped his wallet two blocks up the street, you run up there and that $1,500 in, you say, oh, shit, thank you, Lord. Now, baby, you can pay for that tenfold. If you give it back to you, God's going to replenish you tenfold. Everything comes back in this universe. Can I get an amen? Amen, you know what I'm amen sir. Everything comes back in this universe. Whatever you do. So don't, 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 don't chastise or... Be little or be disrespectful to your woman who you lay there and have sex and kids with, and she fix your food and you smack upside the head, baby. Please. Thank Remember you. This. Remember this. This okay. is most important. Whatever you do comes back, so you better make the positive more than the next. And read the Ten Commandments if you don't read the Bible. All you got to do is half of them. You have to do them all, cause the brother gonna lie to get that thing. <laughs> the brother. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, that's the gold, man.